everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna to make one of my favorite go-tos, banana bread. I love banana bread. When I make this recipe sometimes, I will triple it. Bring one to work for the teachers, keep one here for home, bring one to my dad. This is a really, really good, moist, hearty bread. So we're gonna start off with a half a cup of butter, which is one stick, put that in. I'm then going to add my sugar, which is one cup. And then I'm going to mix that up a little bit. My butter is going to be my fat for the recipe. Now while that's mixing up, I'm going to get my bananas ready. So you see there's a difference, right? These are bananas that I had on my counter. This is a banana from about a week ago and I froze it. I put it right in the freezer because no one was eating it and was starting to get too ripe to eat. So I threw it in the freezer knowing that I would make something with it. And now I'm making banana bread with it. It gets real mushy and gushy, but it's delicious. It's actually better in the bread than these bananas. So these bananas here, I'm going to put right in the bowl with that banana. I'm going to be using three bananas in this bread today. Bananas are really healthy. A lot of potassium in there, good for our muscles. I'm gonna mash up our three bananas. And then I'm going to put the bananas right in with the sugar and butter. I love this recipe. I usually make this during the winter and in the fall because it's such a nice hearty snack. A lot of times I'll make it and on my way to school, before I leave, I'll cut a piece and I'll wrap it in foil. And then while I'm driving, because I have a long drive to work, to school each day, I'll nibble on that on my way. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up, the bananas, butter, and sugar. And now I'm going to get my eggs in. This recipe calls for two eggs. I have, before I got started, I set up all my ingredients and I put my eggs out because I like when I'm baking to have my eggs at room temperature. I always break an egg, put it in a bowl, then put it in the mixer. Just in case it's rotten. Second egg. I have my eggs in here. Let me set up real nice. My last wet ingredient is going to be one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Put that in, and then we'll mix one more time. So when you're baking, baking a cake or cookies, whatever it is that you're baking, you always want to keep your ingredients separate. You have your wet ingredients and you have your dry ingredients. Your wet, you want to prepare first. Now I'm moving on to my dry ones. Here I have my flour. I have one and a half cups. I'm going to sift it right into the bowl. You always want to sift your flour. Half a cup. And in here, I have a teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and that's going to give my bread rise. And then I have half a teaspoon of salt. So let's sift that all together. And I even like to give it a little extra sift. Kind of lightens up the flour a little bit. I always just use, when I'm baking, all-purpose flour. They do have cake flour. It's very fine, and that's supposed to be really good to bake with, but it's a little pricey. And I really, I never see it at my shop right anyway. So, okay. So, now we're going to mix in our dry ingredients. 
I'm going to put in about a third of it. And then I'm going to mix it up. That mix good. I'll put the next third in. I like to put it a little at a time because I don't like the flour jumping all out of the bowls. Okay, and here's my last of my dry ingredients. Now I'll give it a good mix. Oh. So, you can leave your recipe just as is, just like this. But here we like to have raisins and nuts in it. I like that it makes it even heartier than it would be with just the bananas. So if you like raisins, you can put raisins in it. If you like walnuts, you can put walnuts in it. I'm going to use just about a cup of walnuts and about a cup of raisins. Some people do not like raisins, so don't put it in. I like to put the raisins in this recipe because the raisins add moisture to it and it makes it even moister, more moist. Stir, get all that flour from the side. I'm going to add my one cup of nuts, walnuts, and I'm going to add my one cup of raisins. This is a real favorite of my family's. Like I said, winter and fall all the time. Every other week I'm making this. And that little trick about putting the bananas in the freezer is awesome because you don't want to throw away food. And this is a good way of saving it and then reusing it when you're ready. So this is what I do with this banana bread. I have a loaf pan here and this is what I'm going to bake it in. So I have my canola oil spray. You can use this, you can use butter. You could use just regular vegetable oil and pour it in and use a paper towel and wipe it. I like to spray this all around the bottom and the sides. Because this is not a real sweet cake, it's more like a bread, I like to add a little sweetness to it. So I get my sugar, you don't have to do this, you can just spray it plain. I like to just sprinkle a little sugar around the sides. And then on the bottom, that just adds a little, a little sweetness to the out, the out uh, side of the bread. Now I'm just going to pour this right in the pan. You see all those nuts and raisins? Oh, it's so yummy. It's going to be great tomorrow morning. And as I said, usually when I make this, I triple the recipe. And I give it to family members or take it into school. We even made this for the students at school before. I think we've even made this a few times in class too. Okay, so here is my banana bread, all ready to be baked. I have my oven preheated. Whenever you're baking or cooking anything, you always wanna preheat your oven. That means turn it on about 10, 15 minutes before you're ready. That way, when you're ready to put your, your food in the oven, it's at the temperature you want. So I want this at 350. I'm gonna put this in. This cake is heavy, so it's going to take a long time to bake. I'm going to set it for about 55 minutes and then I'm going to check it. If it's ready, I'll take it out. Usually though, I have to leave it in another five minutes or so. So I'll put this in. And in about 55 minutes, my whole house will be smelling like bananas. I'll see you back. back. It's been about 55 minutes and our banana bread's been in the oven. So let's take a look and see how it's making out. It should be just about done now. I'm going to test it using just a butter knife. I'm gonna put it in, comes out dry. That means it's done. So let's take it out. Put it here. Close up our oven. Okay, so what you wanna do when you get it out is run a knife around the sides. And that'll loosen it up. I'll tell you honestly, 
I could probably dump this right now. It's coming out so clean. But what we're going to do is we're going to let this cool for about an hour right in the pan. And then when an hour is up, take your knife again, go around the sides, and then just flip it out. And then you have your banana bread. So here we go, guys, banana bread. It's really yummy. And for my students, tomorrow on Remind, shoot me a text. Tell me yes or no for extra credit. Have you ever had banana bread? See you next week.